I'm Dagny. Welcome to the Battery Shop. Today, we're going to be replacing the 12 volt battery in this 2018 Ford Edge. It's located right here under the hood, so it's fairly easy to get to. Before you begin, it's always a good idea to check with the manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions. That way, you're familiar with the project, you have everything you need, you don't forget anything, and you can safely and efficiently change the battery. Today, we're going to be using a memory saver to keep the computer's memories alive while replacing the battery. With gloves and safety glasses on, the first step is to loosen the fastener for the battery's hold down bracket. You're going to need an 8 millimeter wrench for this. We recommend using an extension and a socket. Then remove the fastener and hold down bracket. Now slide the battery forward to better access the battery's negative cable. The next step is to loosen the fastener for the negative battery cable. You'll need a 10 millimeter wrench for that. Then remove the negative battery cable from the battery's negative terminal. A long flathead screwdriver can make this job easier. And set it off to the side. Then loosen the fastener on the positive battery cable, again using the 10 millimeter wrench. and remove the positive battery cable from the battery's positive terminal and set it off to the side. Now we're ready to remove the old battery and its heat shield. Before installing the new battery, Clean any corrosion off the negative battery terminal, as you won't be able to reach once it's installed. Now we're ready to install the new battery and its heat shield. The next step is to reinstall the positive battery cable onto the battery's positive terminal. It's always a good idea to clean any corrosion off the terminal before doing so. But don't pound these clamps on, as this can cause internal battery damage. And tighten the fastener. Next, reinstall the negative battery cable onto the battery's negative terminal. Brush off any corrosion before installing. And tighten the fastener. Push the battery back until it stops. Now we can reinstall the battery's hold down bracket and tighten the fastener. And we're done. 